Alrighty, everyone. Well, uh, good evening, and this is gonna be uh, another jump to warp head here. And uh, and before I get into this, this is the music I'm gonna I'm gonna be having in the background. Uh, some Tokyo lo-fi hip hop, um, and Japanese lo-fi as well, and presumably, or according to the uh, the title here, it says no copyright, so I shouldn't have to worry about my video being copyright claimed. Hopefully that ain't false advertisement. Okay, but anyway, um, okay, so I'm just doing something else here real quick. Okay, so just uh, wanted to do a kind of demo on a new build that a guy named DJ Screw. Show it, uh, demonstrate it for me. Right now, I'm just calling it the Water Boys. But, uh, this is kind of, this is, uh, the big one is a new and improved, uh, Mountain Crusher. Um, explode four gems for each blue ally and elemental ally. Well, got a blue elemental here, a blue elemental here. And a blue elemental here, so. And I'll probably have just that, 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 that. When you uh, when you use it, you submerge yourself. Um, this here, you deal five scatter damage. For the kind of content that I do, this is for the most part irrelevant. I mean, five scatter damage, like that's it. And then the big one here. Create an ice storm. So this is kind of a blue variation of the mountain crusher. In fact, let me go to it. Yeah, see whereas um they're kind of flip sides, whereas the tome here, it it explodes um four gems, no matter what they are. And then a uh, mountain crusher, it only blows up the brown ones. So, as far as that goes, the tome is actually better than the crusher. Because, again, again, it, it blows up any kind of gem. It doesn't just blow up the brown ones. Now, on the downside, for... It, it, there's, there's, uh, as you see here, there's a workaround for it, my group, but you gotta have blue and or elemental allies in your group. Where is this? You don't. Um, this requires 11 brown mana. Uh, 14, but it can be either uh, yellow or blue. Now, um, the, the class that Screw recommended is Tide Caller. And this is actually, um, let me back up a bit. And this is more of an offense oriented build. There is, uh, it's a little light on defense. Whereas, uh, my old class, uh, Titan. I mean, it had impact. And uh, rock solid. You get a barrier on matching brown gems, so there is some defense to go with the uh, offense on this. Tide Caller doesn't have that. Actually, let me go back to Titan real quick. So glad these are next to each other. Whereas, um, you start out with you start out with 50% mana. That's the big one there. Storm, and then you get the barrier. Uh, tide Caller. Uh, what you get instead is uh, you submerge yourself when you take damage, and you blow up a blue gem whenever you match four or more gems. So you got a little more mana generation with this one. But again, that also comes at the cost of defense. So, but anyway, uh, Gob Truffle. You guys are all too familiar with him. And then Forestroll, 
This the uh, melee to take advantage of the green gems on the board. I'd love to have had Goblin Shaman in here, but again, he's a he's a blue elemental, so. And then the banner, slam banner plus two to two to blue, one to green. And then let's go ahead and do a. Let me go here to my inventory. This is something I started doing recently. Find out which um, which arcane tombstone I'm shortest on, and just do like an explore run or two on it. So far, arcane stealth. Yeah, arcane stealth. Forest of thorns. And then we'll do um. And uh, I'm not gonna do a. Uh, er, Let's just start off fairly easy at first. Difficulty six. And, and, oh, 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 oh. So, water boys. And then the goal is to get off uh, blue and yellow matches, preferably blue. go. Oh, I gotta turn my controller on. Shut off on me. So, there's the boost in the lower right corner. Plus 28. So, this is gonna literally... That's, that's how much of the board it takes out. Do one more since the last one went pretty quick. And again, blue and yellow. They're the priority. Um failing failing that. Then it'll be uh green and then brown. And then purple and red are useless for this build. And once again, literally cleared the entire board. But like I said, this is an offense-oriented build, so there's it's really light on defense. And then um if you if you did want if you do want a little bit of defense in here uh queen grapple pot is an alternative because but uh she she's actually let a little bit less effective in here because she's only going to be helping the goblins herself and uh the king forest troll doesn't get any of it and i don't get any of it so um, a slight lean towards no, but it, but again, it it's it's there, it's there, and she's not an elemental either, which is something else I just thought of. She's neither blue nor an elemental, so your uh, oh, oh, so your tome isn't gonna blow up as much. do one of these uh, maybe two more and then I'll probably go up might do a PvP one same thing nope 
to get my surge. Mana surge. All but three. So let's um Yeah, I'm not doing that one. Um and here and here's a weakness. Just like my um elementalist build. Stun's gotta Stun's got to be a real problem for this build because to me this is a pretty valuable part of this build right here. But nevertheless, I'll go ahead and go for it. Pretty much can't get a turn either. And I got stunned, so. Wait. Oh! Uh. She doesn't have anything traded. Okay, but, but anyway, I just want to do a demo on that build. Um, I did it earlier today in the stream. It might have been due to bad luck. But um, whenever I would, I would completely blow the board, nothing would come down, like not a single match. It was a major problem during my stream. So I was getting pretty pissed off about that. So, but it, but things seem to go okay on this video. But anyway, um, that's my build, so I just wanted to make a video on that, so. But thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.